Hello and welcome. In this lab we will be performing an unconfined compression or UC test on a cohesive clay sample. This test is to determine the undrained shear strength of cohesive soils. It will cover standards ASTM D2166 and ASHTO T208. We will need the following items to perform this test an unconfined compression device and instrumentation, calipers to measure the diameter and the length of our sample, an extruder, trimming tools, moisture can, and a balance. We will first need to obtain our sample. Typically this is an undisturbed sample of cohesive material that was obtained using a drill rig and a Shelby tube sampler. These samples will come from various depths depending on the soil profile of the site. The Shelby tube allows us to get an undisturbed sample and maintain our in situ moisture content. The sample will come back to the lab to be logged in. We will use the sample that was called out from the engineering test program for our test. The Shelby tube will be placed in an extruder to remove the sample from the tube. Once the sample has been extruded from the tube, we will log it in and pick the area we want to run our test on. We are looking for a sample that is cohesive, homogeneous, and 100% saturated. The sample should be between 2 and 2.5 two and to 1 ratio. Anything shorter than a 2 to 1 ratio may give us additional strength due to the end effects and any longer may introduce a buckling force. The sample will be cut out making sure that the two ends are parallel to each other and perpendicular to the length. Once we've determined what we're going to use for a sample we'll put it in our trimming machine and trim off the excess amount. After that we will measure the length and the diameter also get a weight on the sample. Then we will take a moisture sample from the end cuttings and place them in the oven and then place our sample in our testing machine. We will want to run this test as soon as possible after we've extruded the sample to prevent it from drying out and gaining additional strength. Okay let's start our test. The first thing we need to do is to determine a displacement rate. Because it is an unconfined sample and we are not worried about pore pressure building up, we can shear it at what is considered a rapid rate. This rate is determined by the length of the sample. Rapid means we can shear it at 0 0.02 inches per minute per inch of the length of the sample. So if we have a 5 inch sample, our shear rate will be 0 0.1 inches per minute which will allow us to share our sample between 5 and 15 minutes. We will go ahead and start our test and watch our graph and sample. The test will be ran until we reach and pass the maximum load on our load displacement curve. As we look at the sample we will see the shear plane developing. If it meets all of the criteria talked about previously then we should see a 45 degree failure plane. Once our test is complete we will remove it and take pictures of our sheared sample. The data set will be given to you to analyze. That concludes this lab. For additional information please refer to the student lab manual and get help from your TA and instructor.